built in as as a part of the show and and maybe mm-hmm. i don't know maybe maybe they were the ones who who uh who started that who started it i don't yeah. think so i think that was around before then but that's a pretty that's a pretty like <laughs> character driven way of of doing that it's yeah. you know it it they found a way to to make it a part of the show mm-hmm. but anyway oh. but uh so my first one was just noticing that all the yogurt places have been replaced with Hawaiian pizza places. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, so, which is- <laughs> so let's get to that. I, I do want to start, I want to start at the beginning um, with, so in order to do that, I'm going to have to get past the intro uh, with the recap, but I, I wanted to get to Michael projecting confidence because I think it's a beautiful thing to watch. So that should be right around there. Okay, here we go. Confidence, Mikey. Project confidence. There he is. How's it going, boss man? Enough (laughs) chit-chat. Is everything in place for version two? Yep. We're keeping everything from version one that made them miserable, adding a bunch of new stuff that they'll hate. For example... All the coffee is from those little pods. <laughs> Diabolical. <laughs> Plus, they will all have new soulmates, of course. You gotta trust me on this, boss. I've thought of everything. I won't let you down. I think you will. <laughs> I think this entire project of yours is stupid and doomed to fail. I think you're going to be retired, eliminated from existence, and burned on the surface of a billion suns. And I have no doubt that you and your cockamamie experiment will go down in history as colossal failures. You know, I think if you... Toodaloo. Okay, take two. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I... Again, we're back to, to gushing about the performances, but, mm-hmm. but Michael's like, project confidence, Mikey. You got this. What's so torturous about Keurig cups, other than, like, yeah, they ruin the environment? There's I that, find them so convenient. <laughs> they are super convenient, but you, sir, are not somebody who drinks black coffee. So if you are somebody who just drinks regular black coffee all the time and doesn't put cream and sugar in, they are not anywhere near as good as brewed coffee. Oh, but sir. But sir. Sir. You're about to correct me. I'm about to correct you. God damn it. <laughs> so, well, uh, here's, so here's what's torturing. So, um, now that you point out, gosh darn it, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> so they used to make, like the donut shop coffee used to make yeah. the sweet and creamy brand of what we had the cream and sugar included, which seems odd to me because you're just pouring water into that. Is it's got to be like the powdery non dairy creamer stuff? That's... I'll tell you what, though, it came out pretty good. Really? Yeah, hmm. it actually came out pretty good. It was my favorite thing for a while. Okay, and then they stopped selling it. I haven't been able to find it. Ah, like Target had it, and then now Target no longer has it anymore. No matter what location I go to, whether it be the tiny Target, the super Target, or just normal Target. I, you know what, I, this is going to go off on a tangent for a little bit. Mm-hmm. So welcome back for about four bucks. Yeah. Strap in. Stra- yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, I have conflicting, I, I have conflict. There's conflict within me, deep within me, about the tiny target. <laughs> because unless I know ahead of time that they have what I want... That is nothing but a trip down futility road because <laughs> an irritation because then I'm just like, motherfucker, I got to go to the regular target anyway. Why the fuck did I drive over here? <laughs> and it takes just as long to get to the tiny target than it does to get to the super target. It's But, you know, if I'm heading to Trader Joe's or if I needed to go to the Best Buy or whatever, then the tiny target is conveniently conveniently located right there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean they they don't have all the brands that I'm used to getting at the regular Target, and so yeah, unless I know very basically exactly what I want and that it's at the tiny Target, I just don't go there. I understand. I I prefer to go to the tiny Target because it is so convenient. It's like Walgreens but bigger mm-hmm. and with mm-hmm. 
target brands. But the aisles also are so small. Like if mm-hmm. you if you can't, I mean, if if heaven forbid, there are two people with carts coming down mm-hmm. the same one, you gotta you get you gotta make some negotiations. Mm-hmm. You need like blinkers on your ass so that you can back yeah, up. I know. Like, <laughs> what I find amazing about the tiny target is. I, I I am like you. I have to know it's there, or else I won't mm-hmm. go. I'll have to go to Super Target. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first row problems, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I'm always amazed is what they do have mm-hmm. at the tiny Target. Is like their grocery section is pretty good. I know it's like really well stocked. Like, yeah. I mean, I and wish they have they, some organic products mm-hmm. and fresh stuff. So. I wish they'd have the the giant tubs of almond milk. Tiny target is not a sponsor of this podcast. No. <laughs> what, why would they be after you just, <laughs> <laughs> super target on the other hand, <laughs> the, the, the new approach to advertisements. Fuck this place. Except sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that I, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, it's just amazing what they do have i mean yes i do get upset when they don't have the giant tubs of almond milk like i'm used to at the super target mm-hmm. you know that that's a negative impact on the environment i'm aware <laughs> <laughs> i was once again reminded watching this episode about yes. the negative effects of the almond milk and mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's so good in cereal man <laughs> well in general you know what if you have a lactose problem Almond milk's not bad. Yes. So, and again, we're just talking about K cups. Let's talk about the almond milk. milk. Also, not a sponsor of this <laughs> podcast. Almond milk K cups. <laughs> we're, just, we're we're just crossing them off. <laughs> They're lining up, and we're like, "No, sir, fuck you." <laughs> I mean, we haven't talked about me undies and and Squarespace. So no, I because, feel like <laughs> because they might sponsor because <laughs> they uh, sponsor everything. Stamps dot com. I'm a customer, uh, um, but I, I've never used it, but I'm a customer. And it's funny because I was at the post office yesterday, Jared, and let me tell you something. You know what? They're not a sponsor yet. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> the, so I feel like- But the like- post office, also not a sponsor, is trying. <laughs> at least they're trying. Mm-hmm. They, they they have the, the, um, the self-service machine outside for when the post office is closed. Which you can use sometimes when it's not out of order and when the parcel collection box is not full and locked. <laughs> so <laughs> but it's convenient some of the time. <laughs> but you know what's more convenient? Hmm. Stamps.com. Because you never not have a to sponsor leave the house. yet. We do not endorse stamps.com until they give us money. <laughs> That's right. But anyway, uh, so where were we again? <laughs> I have no idea. We, oh, we, oh, we, we got to get talk- back to Tiny Target. And then oh, we'll do move, we? Yeah. Okay. So. Well, we don't. <laughs> Um, but like, but um, I, as someone who has now two kids, I find Tiny Target to be a little more convenient, a little more thing, and then I can. I, yeah. I especially just, when I'm going to Trader sure. Joe's, I'm just not sure that those those aisles are ADA. Uh, oh no! You know, if they are, they're just barely. It, Somebody stood there with a measuring tape and said, "This is legal." Oh, if, so we're keeping it. Oh, if that place ever has a fire, it's just gonna like it's. It's going to be like a basement concert. Yep. It's just going to be awful. Mm-hmm. And I, I heaven forbid, any, I feel sorry for the people when the fire happens. Well, and don't get caught in the clothing aisle because I guarantee that some of those materials are highly flammable. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, but um, so, and the, we we're talking about K cups, which I, they did have cream and which sugar. Which takes once. us back to the good place. Yes. See or how as we got, Carly put it or gave us the segment, the good segue. Yeah. It's the good. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I learned from Carly. <laughs> I think we need a sound clip of that. <laughs> the good segue. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if somebody would like to make that sound clip, we'll use it and yes. give you a shout out. But mm-hmm. I like that. The good segue. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> so they did have it, but now they've discontinued the, the sweet and creamy coffee. And then, did you confirm that they discontinued? I'm, not, I'm pre, I have not confirmed, and and we don't have to Google it. So so far, we're on, and we're not because the episode is currently up, right? Uh, but uh, there there is this place called uh, Amazon, and 
or oh. Amazon, something like that. Whatever. Uh, also is it what not that, a sponsor. Is of it this what show. that rich bald guy owns? It's yeah. The the it, it's <laughs> exactly. It's it's the front for Doctor Evil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's yes. Amazon. It's a website. <laughs> Listeners, I'm doing air, air quotes. quotes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, that Amazon probably has lasers. <laughs> I mean, they have drones for fuck's sake, That's right? true. They have delivery drones. They do. And they're, delivery robots They'll eventually, now. they'll, uh, I'm sure they're listening right now, uh, and they they will, uh, you know, will be taken out in an airstrike. Mm. Avenge our deaths. Um, but here's the thing. So, the the... Coffee Mate people stepped in, mm-hmm. and they decided that they would make um, coffee cups with Coffee Mate in. You know what they could do? Co co branding like crossover with the Good Place and do uh, Coffee Soulmates. There you go. <laughs> Except it's not good. The, the, the oh, Coffee Mate not? version yeah. is not good. Well, it's Coffee Mate, which is which is. <laughs> Which is weird because now that's not a sponsor and never will be now. <laughs> which is weird because I use Coffee Mate now in, in place of the cream and sugar <laughs> that I used to get from my cake. Oh, the irony. Yes. Like, curse you. You take the little pot and put it next to the big like jug thing and say, why can't you be more like your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, sir. So, anyways, we were talking about K-Cups on The Good Place. Right, the good segue. Yes. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yes, I, 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 I like this. I, I like the whole... Uh, the whole idea of the re- the the reboot here. And we're, we're about to segue into the pep talk that uh that that michael gives the the crowd um and and then mm-hmm. talking about uh about everybody's jobs um and and how you know the the the, the whole the this is crucial thing where you know eleanor you've got to get eleanor drunk in order to um to to fuel or to give fuel for the chaos machine mm-hmm. right or the chaos generator whatever they call it um I, there were a couple of notes that I took down, um, and I think it's I have a time code for this, so we can just go ahead and head over to it. Da, da, da. And I do have some notes about Denise too, by the way. Character oh, two, like, <laughs> can he bite them? No. Okay. Reminder: the most like important thing them. tonight, <laughs> and this is crucial, you need to get Eleanor drunk at the welcome party, so she will say and do a bunch of bad stuff. And we take that stuff and use it to build our chaos sequence in the morning. For example, you remember last time she stole all the cocktail shrimp and we made giant nightmare shrimp fly through the sky? See, it's those details that make her realize she's in danger of being found out. Okay, I know that this kind of large-scale deception is not what you were trained to do. There are going to be days when you're just sick of being around these disgusting humans with their weird, gross little mouths and their stupid elbows. You're going to be tempted to say, screw it. Can't we just go back to HQ and do this the old-fashioned way? Pull out some fingernails, toss someone in an acid pit, fire up the old penis flattener? And sure, sure, that sounds nice, but it also sounds easy. We're all here because we believe that there's a better way to make humans miserable. And I, I believe in you. So, torture on three. Ready? One, two, three. Torture! And biting! Nope. Nope. No. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I I do. I do like the biting. And biting! (laughs) No. 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 Um, and I, I, I did make <laughs> fire up the old penis flattener. Yeah. He says it with such conviction. <laughs> he does, yeah. It's just like tossing it off, like, yeah. So Remember I the could, simple days with the penis flattening? And the, can you see him going like on top, like on so Michael? How do you want me to say penis flattener? <laughs> Why don't you say it with conviction? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's my motivation? You're a demon, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, and again, you know, he he Ted Danson continues to be the best part, I think. Mm-hmm. Everybody is great, but I, the more and more I watch it, that man is just comic genius. It's true. And it's funny, he it's 